Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today we're having a look at the app Voss. So Voss markets itself as a well-being plan and journal. So what this entails is a whole bunch of little exercises to do every day. And if you're a premium member, you can do multiple more each and every day, as well as little journaling bits to get you thinking, get you writing, get your thoughts down on paper as such. But is it any good? Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so we're jumping into Voss from one of the little prompts that it gives, one of the little notifications. So what was the most challenging task for this week? Well, it was, no, let's just put, and I've already made five journal entries as you can see. Now, I love that it comes up with all these little instructions and everything else for you during your time with it. Recap your entries in a calendar tab so you can explore the calendar. And as you go through, you can see what you've done and when. Now, if we go back to what we've got in our little thing, six day streak, sick, water supply, one. Now, I can log how I feel right now in my well-being thing, so I'm feeling pretty good and details because Work was good, I've got some finances, family's good, continue. How am I feeling? Content and happy. So you can write some notes there as well and save your mood summary. So the mood summary works really well, really fast, really effective. Once you're done, you're done with that. Now you've got breathing exercises. As you can see here, you can choose your time with it and it tells you what you're gonna be doing. So you're gonna inhale with the nose, hold for seven seconds and exhale for eight. Now if we Jump into that. Put a little bit of volume on there. With this, it says what you're doing as you're doing it. And you get a little bit of music there as well. And the music chimes in perfectly with the patterning of it. So, and it vibrates too as you're meant to inhale, so you know what you're doing and where you're up to with that. So, really cool there, and you can share that if you want, or heart it as a favourite. So, every day it'll have a different exercise for you to do. You've got a blog article that you can have a look at, let's do some reading, and something easy to do, finish it, so you get that. You've got a well-being test, so they do have all different sorts of tests that you can do. Uh, not at all, and they are just very easy, stock standard sort of stuff, really, but they go a long way into tracking how you're feeling and how you're doing throughout your time using the app. And we're just racing through this one to go, yeah. And I can check my results, I've got one point. Recommended events, call a friend, listen to a meditation, yep, yep, yep. I think if it was much worse, it would actually have some positive stuff for me to do. So if I completed that one, it would be there. And then you've just got your notepad again to complete a little journal entry with no questions asked with that one. Now you can have a look at your insights here as well, your mood chart, average mood, your average daily steps if you connect something to it, and daily time in bed if you connect Google Fit to it. So it does work with Google Fit, or I suppose Apple's alternative as well, if that's what you're using. But I'm not. Then we can go to our wellbeing hub where we've got all of our tools, our mood tracker, our daily questions, notepad tests, breathing, challenges, eat a red vegetable, accept. And that's just something you can do for that. So I didn't fail the no alcohol today, but it only gives you like the day to get in back onto the app and complete that or mark it complete. So you can have a look at all the different breathing exercises that they have. And they have a whole bunch and a whole list of categories as well. So you've got some stuff for weight loss in here as well. Uh, some little insights onto that. So you can heart that or share that as appropriate as well. So you can share that to your social medias. And so popular stuff on your breathing exercises, everything else as well up the top there. Help, if you need help, counseling, you can contact a counselor. I'm not gonna do that because I don't actually need help myself at the moment and I don't want to waste anybody's time or go through that. 
But first aid, if I'm suffering with depression, breathe for energy, talk to a friend, try a bit of exercise. Some simple suggestions there for what to do if you're going through that. And I like that emergency contacts, so you can get into whoever. And so these are Australian ones as well, which is excellent to see. Unlike some of the other apps which just have country specific for where they're made. Now you can have a look at all your widgets as well, because I love widgets. So if we set a widget, you've got a little affirmation or something for quotes every 24 hours. You can set that too, or whatever you want it to change at. And then your customization, so your plan. Wellbeing plan, here's a list of all the stuff that you can choose for your wellbeing plan. Your avatar, if you want to update him, if you're into furries or whatever else as well. And then as you get into your avatar, you can change skin tone, hair, all sorts of stuff, totally customizable there. Your theme for the app, if you want dark, if you want red, and I don't actually like the dark at all. And the app icon, if you want to change the actual app icon for whatever reason. And if you go up to discover, today you can discover the helplines and everything that you've gone through during that time. And your favorites, what you've been favoriting. And I'm on a six day streak at the moment and you're growing your little tree as you go through. Now your affirmations, Now, I mean, affirmations are as only as useful as you make them. So if we go for achieve goals, and you get your little affirmations, and you can just scroll through those, and you get a nice little picture behind it as well. Not greatly effective, but if it is something that hits you and you can write it down and keep that one or screenshot it or share it to something where you keep getting reminded of it, more power to you. And then, yeah, discover your insights, and what that means for you. So we've got all that again. Going back to this, the daily plans work really well, I've found. You go in, you've got a list of things to do, and once you complete them, they're done, and you can see the progress that you're sort of making with that. Your, uh, your mood tracker is works really well as well. Very simple, but effective, and it keeps a track of how you've been feeling during those days. I love the notepad and I love the guided journal as well, which asks you a specific question and gets you thinking about that. Gets you out of the other thinking patterns you may be in. And unlike the other journal where you're sitting there like, what the hell do I write sometimes? This one gives you something specific to focus on and think about. And they're nor normally very thoughtful. So far, I've been quite impressed with what questions they've been asking you. The app itself, in terms of usability, is very easy to navigate, as you've been seeing. You can go through your daily questions, what was that, where do you feel the best, and review your answers. Everything is easy to find, easy to get to, easy to navigate. You've got your little thing at the top here as well to see how you're going, how you're leveling up through the app as well. And then you get your little tracker here as well, which you can change. So if I launch into that, how happy with I, am I with my productivity? Very. And if I go through the rest, you can see my productivity will change in according with what I've just changed it with. And then it gives you a little spiderweb view of that. Suggest with managing stress. And if I wanted to add anything else as well, on there I can easily do that with my wellbeing plan. So that is Voss. Very easy and I think pretty effective. In a lot of ways. It's not going to be something that you would rely on in times of stress, but if it's there and you think you're going to have a panic attack, you can click on that and go through and find something that may help you to calm down. The breathing exercises seem very good, very easy to use. The tone as well as the vibration for when you're breathing in helps you to be able to keep on track with that. And everything else in there as well seems really robust. Like it's not going to save or change your life, but it is going to help your mood just that little bit. I think if you were to really use this effectively. And how much are you gonna pay for this? $90 a year, so not even $10 a month for this app, which I think is pretty good value for this one, considering it seems the effort that's been put into it. And if they keep adding things to it, 
it seems like it's going to be a very robust, very handy little app for people who need something to keep a track of where they're going and how they're going. All up, with all of those things considered, I would give Voss a 9 out of 10 for this. I can see the potential in this one. If they manage to keep the price down and keep it going, the app has had no issues with being able to do anything that I've wanted it to do, even though it is very simple, mind you, so there's no videos to load or anything like that that slows it down. It's been very fast, very responsive, no crashes, no nothing, and looks pretty damn good, considering with some of the other apps that I've seen in the past. So, yeah, this is one that I would heartily recommend. Uh, in no way, shape, or form am I um, affiliated with these guys or anything at all. This is just my personal opinion on their app. But anyway, guys, what do you think of Voss? Would you use it? Have you used it? Leave a comment down below, and remember to always like, share, comment, subscribe on this video. And I'm Rob Murphy, and I will see you in the next video.